Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Now listen to me, man. We come on now. We gotta we gotta realize this as just as human beings, as adults, we gotta do better. Listen, the strip club is stupid. The strip club is stupid, man. Like, listen, I'm trying to figure out a better way to say this and just, you know, be compassionate. The strip club is the stupidest thing in the world. It is the dumbest, one of the dumbest inventions in the world. It's like, I don't know. It's it's kind of like selling a, a ditch to, like, go jump in. Like, imagine somebody came up to you and said, hey, do you want to buy this hole in my backyard? And you just get to jump into it. And you're like, oh, yay. Let me, let me jump in the hole. And then how you get out the hole? Well, you got to try to climb out, but it's dirt and stuff. So every time you try to grab a hole to climb out, the dirt falls. So you really just end up, as you're trying to climb out, you really just end up burying yourself in the hole. That's like what a strip club is. Like that's just what that's just what came to my mind just right now. I never said that before, but it's the dumbest thing in the world. And you gotta understand, like it's a place of just it's for like when you like, like lost people, like lost people, like hurting people. You gotta really understand the state of mind you have to be in to be a stripper and to go to a strip club. It's like very just lost and unproductive. And it's just something, it's something that you have to. I interviewed a former dancer and she kind of said the same thing on her interview. Cause I was just, I interviewed because I'm trying to understand it. I'm like, we all human. We all have a brain. How do some humans think that the strip club is okay? And then other humans are like, that's the dumbest thing in the world. I'm like, why can't we all be on one page and see that this is the dumbest thing in the world? So if you see this video, if you're a stripper, please never strip again. And if you go to strip clubs, please never go again. We need to put strip clubs out of business. Like, if you don't want your daughter to go strip, you don't want your son to go sit in the strip club all the time, then stop going and stop stripping. We need to put strip clubs out of business. That is it's just the worst and it's it's the dumbest thing in the world. And I was like, I was hearing like strippers tell these different stories and just how like, you know, you going and giving lap dances for, you know, ten dollars or five dollars and based on these little songs and then all the ladies got to go to the stage and it just, I've been to the strip club, I think, three times in my life. And each time, it's kind of like, I really can't even remember it because it was so dark. And then when I looked up and I seen the ladies on the stage, it just, to me, it was just kind of like, I don't know what's wrong with me to why I really couldn't get into it. Like, I just, I look up there and I'm just like, man, what? where's your dad? Like, how how do your daddy feel right now? Like, where's your mom? Like, how how do your mama feel? Like, like why are you showing your butt? Like, I'm sitting in the club. I'm like, why do you have your butt out in front of strangers? Like, do you know that men are rapists? Like, there's a lot of men who are rapists. Like, do you know there's a lot of men who, like, beat women to death? Like, do you know how vile and sick some men are? Like, do you know it's, it's men sleeping with children? Like, and like running sex trafficking rings, like why would you come to Alliance then and present yourself as a gazelle? Like not a lioness, but as a gazelle. Like this, I'm just, I'm sitting there and I'm like, this don't make no sense. And the reason why I was in there, I was in college and my homeboy, I went home with my homeboy to New York and him and his homeboy, this is where they wanted to go. I probably was 18, 19 years old and I just, I had never been, so I was curious to see what it was like. I went in there. We sitting in there. I remember we were sitting at this table, 
I ain't had no money, so I wasn't throwing no money. And I remember we just had got like, it's like, hey, man, we got to go, man. We, we got to go. We got to go. And one of my, my friends that I went with, I guess he went and got a lap dance and he stuck his thumb in the girl booty. And you're not allowed to touch him, they said. So we got kicked out because he stuck his thumb in her booty. Which now, looking back, knowing better, it probably was his thing. And she probably, and they, he probably said it was his thumb. It probably was his thing. Because I remember coaching a, a young lady who she used to strip in Denver. And she was telling about one of the NFL players came in. And she was doing a lap dance. And then she felt something on her. And she was like, it was his thing. He had and whipped it out. And I just like, and she had herpes. She had herpes, which, you know, I ain't, of course, I ain't saying names. It wasn't a real client, though. I think it was just a conversation that I had with the young lady. Because these, these individuals, they'll come to me. You know, it's a lot of dancers watch my videos. And, hey, please be offended. I want you to be offended where you stop dancing. And if you need a job, you know, reach out to me and I'll tell some jobs. If if y'all know jobs that these dancers can do, if you know certifications that they could take, post the website in the comments that they could go get this certification, go get a job. But y'all, please come out that, you know, start, get hands laid on you in prayer. To, to get out of that Jezebel spirit. And if you're a man and you go to the strip club, you got to understand how nasty and perverted that is. That's somebody's child. That's somebody's daughter up there. And you just got to do better. Because if you keep perpetuating that cycle, you keep reinforcing that as a man, one day you're going to walk in there and your daughter going to be up there. One day you're going to walk in there and your niece going to be up there. And you're going to be looking at your niece vagina. It's nasty. It's nasty. I just don't understand how we can't see that. I just don't understand how we can't see it. I, I just don't understand how people just like, man. And then it's it's guys, when I say stuff like this, they be like, oh, people will say anything to go viral. Like, who would want to go viral? I've been viral since 2009 without trying. So that's never my goal, to try to go viral. But it's just it's just the dumbest thing in the world, and we got to do better. If you if you happen to be a mayor or a senator or governor, whatever, you got some power in your city. Ban strip club, for me. just ban strip club, man. Ban it for our society. I know it probably pumping a lot of money into the county, but do something else, man. Do something else, man. We got to do better. We about to be Sodom and Gomorrah. We got to do better, man. I just seen last night, I didn't do another video. I just seen last night some senators and governors and different people like that and got caught up in a brothel or a brothel ring. High profile men. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The chicken about to come home to roost. Your butt about to get exposed. Your job finna find out you at the script club sticking thumb in people's booty. Your daughter finna find out that you're nasty. Your nieces and nephews finna find out you're a pervert. And then for y'all dancers, you got to think about one day your son and your daughter growing up and looking at your looking at your videos online or hearing about the stories or you selling your body. Your children, your nieces, nephews, your children, your friends and family would much rather you bust your butt at McDonald's. Go work in the warehouse. Go work in the produce line. Make you $15, $20 an hour. You know, go like anything, man. Anything. Sell toenails. Just anything like it's it's a lot of perversion out in the world. Sell dirty socks. Sell dirty socks on on one of these sites. Clip your toenails. Put them in a bag. Sell those to the fetish guys. Versus stripping. Come on now. Just like do something else, please. It's just disgusting, man. And it's running down society. It's ruining society because it's just creating more Jezebel women and more perverted men. And that's why our family structure is falling apart because we're so nasty and filthy. We're so nasty and filthy as people. Our hearts, y'all hearts is black. And that's disgusting. You cannot be productive in society and add to the world in a way that's pleasing to your maker. Get it together.